Jambulat Bijamov makes his way toward the boxing ring. He's heading for the red corner. His opponent, Georgi Karabadze of Georgia. So Chang Yu Ling issuing the final instructions before sending the boxers back to their respective corners. We're in the 75 kilogram middleweight division and this is action from the second preliminary round, the round of 32 in a middleweight tournament which was started by 46 boxers. It features boxers from the Russian Boxing Federation and Georgia and a taller figure wearing red. Well, keep an eye on this young man because he is absolutely sensational. Just 20 years of age, part of a full strength, 13 deep Russian boxing team. And that is Jambalot Bijamov from Dagestan. Comes to the ring as the reigning five-time national champion of Russia and has claimed credentials at every stage of his career on the continental and global stage. He is quite simply sensational. The switch hitter, his opponent is Georgi Karabadze of Georgia. Competed in the Olympic Games earlier this summer. Terrific punch picking from Bijamov. See Bijamov back to the orthodox stance now. Karabadze trying to work his way inside, puts his man in a headlock after Bijamov dipped down low. Beautiful left hand stake snake through the middle as Bijamov switches to the port sided stance. Hands down, gliding around the boxing ring. Beyond the midpoint of this opening round. Armbar applied by Bijamov. He given a stern talking to about breaking the rules with that illegal maneuver. Looking for the left uppercut against the advancing boxer in blue. He did catch Karabadzi as he was coming forward on the top of his head. So downward arcing right hand. Catches Karabodzi on the side of the head. He steps back in with a solid jab. But this contest being punctuated by plenty of holding. Cluster of punches was attempted by Karabadzi. Then he's picked off by a right cross as he advances. He got through with a left hand, drives a left hand into the body of the taller figure from the Russian Boxing Federation. Flashy left uppercut attempted twice in quick succession by in quick succession by Bijamov. Good left uppercut, did get through, as did that one. Karabadze looking to bulldoze his way forwards, but he's being picked off repeatedly as he attempts to get in range. And then when he gets in range, well, he then initiates a clinch. So his forward forays in the closing seconds of the opening round, not particularly effective from Georgi Karabadze. Good round of boxing for... Bijamov reflected on the scorecards, 10-9 across the board in favor of the 20-year-old from the Russian, Russian Boxing Federation.
So we're going to the second round then, gliding across the boxing ring. To the top of the logo is Jambulat Bijamov. Talked about the success the young man has enjoyed on a global and continental stage to date. In 2018, he took both European and World Youth Championship gold. Followed that up 2019 by retaining his European youth title. And in 2020 and earlier this year, took consecutive Russian national titles at the tender age of 20. He's already accru accrued five national titles, two of them in the senior ranks. And of course, some of the top boys such as Gleb Bakshi in and around this weight won't have been there to contest it because they will have been representing Russia and the Russian Boxing Federation on the international stage. But make no mistake, this man will be clipping at the heels of the man he's looking to succeed as the Aiba World Boxing Champion. And again, it gives you an idea of the strength in depth that exists as a right hand left uppercut get through from Bijamov. And that gesture from the Georgian coach in the middle, perhaps saying it all, he turned his palms upward as if to say, well, what can our guy do with this guy? Because right now he's finding him very difficult to pin down and catch cleanly. Showing wonderful composure up there in the boxing ring. Trying to get his hand free is Karabadzi to work away. But every time, or on several occasions when he gets into range, there he tries a jab, which wasn't too far wide of the mark. But look at that, it's a clinch initiated, at least from my perspective here ringside, by the boxer in blue. I would have thought that that's where he's trying to get to, to target the long, lean body of Bijamov. And remember, at just 20 years of age, and given his towering height at middleweight, one, one wonders how long he's going to stay at 75 kilograms. Could well end up at 80 or 86 or even 91. When he continues to mature and develop and fill out. So in the event that the man is still growing and hasn't yet got what is colloquially known as his man strength, even though he's conducting himself solidly in the middleweight division here with a beautiful right uppercut. Well, surely the onus is on Karabadzi to try and test that. Try and close the distance and work away on the inside. But when he gets into punching range, look at that. The first instinct is to claim his man, which I find astonishing from a man of the experience of Georgi Karabadzi. Two rounds in the book, and I don't see how you can score the second for the man in blue. Well, both rounds scored unanimously in favor of Jambulat Bijamov with six minutes in the book. Well, again, Karabadzi continuing to press, but look at that. There he's trying to work, but more often than not, when he gets into range, his first motion is to tie the man up. So into the third and final round then. Georgi Karabadzi, who has enjoyed podium success on the continental stage with a bronze medal in the European Youth Championships way back in 2014 and more recently in the under-22 event, which took place in Romania in 2018. Facing off here against a man who has emulated him in that regard, picking up continental hardware and indeed that global world youth success in 2018. Oh, that's a beautiful right uppercut off the back foot. But Karabadzi hasn't done anything to ruffle the feathers, feathers of Bijamov. I'm not suggesting that he's to rush in there blindly and risk running on to punches. But at this type of pace and distance and tempo, this is going to be Bijamov's contest all 
fight long. Damage nose sustained by Karabadzi. It's been caused by a punch. The doctor will come and take a look. Don't think well, it's easy for me to say, but it doesn't appear to be significant enough for the contest to be stopped. But Karabadzi hasn't been able to do anything different through this point in the contest. He's still in there competing and trying, but it's been pretty one-paced, truth be told. Hasn't, and he put on the end of a jab, and maybe that's why, because Karabadzi will have felt the sting of those punches. And I'm not suggesting it's made him reluctant, but he hasn't done anything different. And now, the, is that a split on the bridge of the nose, or is that cut, is that blood coming from the damaged nostril? Karabadzi was protesting to the doctor, saying that he's okay to go on. The doctor concurs, but he was saying, hold on a minute. I'm doing the inspection. I'll make my own assessment. Thank you. And having done that to his satisfaction, the contest resumes. Bijamov boxing out of the southpaw stance here now. Now there's a little more urgency in the work of Karabadzi. No more effectiveness at this point, but at least he is trying to raise the tempo beyond the midpoint of this third and final round. Here's a solid left jab landed by Karabadzi, perhaps his best shot of the entire contest. Jab the head upwards of Bijamov, who doesn't really make an effort to keep his chin down, just stands tall, hands down by his side, leaves his chin hanging out there and dares his opponent to tag it. Well, he was picked off cleanly by a left jab there, so now he gets up on his toes, starts using the space of the ring, and he's cutting a far more dynamic figure. But surely this is what Karabadzi should have been doing from early on in the contest. Test the young man on the inside. Don't hold once you get in there. But get closer with right hands such as that. So now, finally, inside the final minute, Georgi Karabadzi is looking to be a busier boxer. Can he maintain it as he scores with a good right hand to the body? Bijamov spears a right jab out in response. Oh, terrific left uppercut, right hook, it's dug in by Bijamov. Well, Karabadzi did find another gear in the final minute of the third and final round, but it's too little too late. And one wonders why he didn't turn up the temperature to the heights that he discovered at the end and indeed beyond because surely if it had started sooner he would have been able to increase the pressure even further but that's not what transpired and you have to give credit to the presence of Jean Boulat Bijamov in preventing Karabadzi from doing that let's get the official announcements Bijamov will be going through to the third preliminary round the round of 16 And here's confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Jambulat Bijamov, taking all of the rounds for all of the scoring judges. A 10-8 verdict record returned in one of the rounds from the Italian judge. Comfortable victory to open his senior world championship tournament here in Belgrade. The 2018 world youth champion progresses through to the round of 16 in the 75-kilogram middleweight tournament here at the senior world championships.